Okay, we will call to order the licensing board hearing. For May 10th, 2016, we have nine items on the agenda, plus two items that were not anticipated, but we will hear also. The last item on the agenda that we will be hearing today is item number seven, which we heard last, uh, karaoke license for Royal Hot Pot. They're gonna be running a little late to get here, so we asked us if we could do that last. Before we start, I just want to read the open meeting law. Pursuant to the open meeting law, any person may make an audio or video recording of this public meeting or may transmit the meeting through any medium. Attendees are therefore advised that such recordings or transmissions are being made, whether perceived or unperceived, by those present and are deemed as knowledge and permissible. With that, we will open up the agenda and we will go to agenda item number two. Hearing regarding the request of the Atherton House, Atherton House School PTO for a one-day special use license for touch a truck Saturday, June 18th, 10 to 2 p.m. And it's D. Tracy, and you are? I'm Kathleen Tracy. Kathleen Tracy. Thank you for taking us first. It's Atherton House, I have family park, so. <laughs> Let's get you out of here. So why don't you tell us about it's Touch just a, we held the event last year, so it's basically the same exact thing. We close off the schoolyard, 20 cars or anything. It's all for traffic. And when we have certain vehicles, we have, right now we have a couple of city vehicles that are coming, the street sweeper, a bucket truck, some construction vehicles. We're waiting here on the command center from um, Sheriff Pomani. We have a fire the fire engine who has preferential placement at the very end of the schoolyard so they can get out if they need to. And um, we will have hot cameras and hot dogs cooked to order, the same thing we did last year. And then we ask that we can close off Man and Ave from C Street just to the end of the schoolyard. It's just um, last year we had a couple of canine demonstrations from some of the police dogs, and that sort of helped where they did it. It sort of helped keep the traffic in front of the school on a minimum for kids who may have been running back and forth. Anybody in the audience have any comments, questions? Board members, comments, questions? Just make sure you touch base with my office. Actually, I think I might have one here. Yes. No. Just touch, touch base with the health department, and they'll give you a uh, one day food permit license. Okay. You can either talk to Billy, Kali, or Frank Black. Okay. And they can actually come down that day. They did that last year. That's how they did last year. That's good. Anything else? I just uh, wanted to reach out. Ward 1 Councillor Margaret LaForest reached out in favor in support of your event. Thank you. Any other comments, questions? Oh, no. if, if you would, just make sure you have a fire extinguisher uh, there. If you're cooking with that, you always sometimes get out of control. So yeah, somebody that knows how to use it. We will. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of the Atherton Howe School PTO for a one-day special use license for Touch a Truck, Saturday, June 18th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., represented by Ms. Tracy. Second. Any, is there a rain date at all? No. Motion made and seconded to grant the request of the Atherton House, Atherton House School PTO for a one-day special use license for a touch of truck Saturday, June 18th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Represented by Ms. Kathleen Tracy. All in favor? Aye. 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 You're all set. Thank Good you luck very much. Thank you. Yeah. Next item on the agenda. Hearing guiding the request of the Quincy Youth Baseball and Softball League for a one-day special use permit for Saturday, May 14th, 11 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. for a family event at Quarry Hills. Mr. Dave Murphy. Mr. Murphy, how are you today? How are you? Very good. Why don't you tell us about the event you're going to be holding up there at Quarry Hills? I'm here on behalf of Quincy Youth Baseball Softball League, a registered uh, 501c3 nonprofit. Uh, we are conducting a uh, celebration on Saturday, May 14th, in recognition of Andy Hollis. Andy Hollis was a longtime uh, coach in Quincy Youth Baseball as well as uh, Sacred Heart Youth Basketball. He died unexpectedly at the age of 56 this past February. Uh, there is a variety of events surrounding uh, the celebration. Uh, we'll have dunk tanks and face painting, and we're also uh, looking to conduct a cow chip bingo 
uh, came as well too. I don't know if you're familiar with that particular um, use, but essentially we bring in a cow and we mine the field and uh, the cow uses the drops a chip and then somebody wins the match. <laughs> it's not usually done in urban settings like Quincy, but uh, it's been done with a lot of fun and a lot of success. So uh, we're part of the I, I do have one question. Again. So after the bingo game, who's responsible for cleanup? That's my job. Always has been. <laughs> Just want to make sure it gets cleaned up. Okay. <laughs> this has been run by the mayor. I know he feels both dogs in the pocket. Well, I, I do want to mention the mayor. The uh, proceeds from this event are actually going to go to help fund the installation of lights and quarry hills. The city has been phenomenal in funding uh, half of that through the Community Preservation Act. Now the Youth Baseball League is trying to raise the other half of the funds for this project, so the proceeds from this event will be used to match the city's commitment to bring uh, lights up to the quarry. That's fantastic. Any other comments, questions by the audience? None? Members of the board? I just would like to say um, if you are going to have a raffle, if you could come to our office and get a permit. Yeah, are we going to be showing any food or anything else like that? Are you going to open up the snack shop? So the regular snack shop. The snack shop will be open. Regular. Okay, good. Anything yeah, else so said? Any other comments? They, they recommended, they recommended uh, hamburgers that day, and I thought it would be insensitive. Insensitive. Cows. 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 Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of the Quincy Youth Baseball and Softball League for a one-day special use permit for Saturday, May 14th, 11 a.m. to 2.30 for a family event at Quarry Hills, represented by Mr. Dave Murphy, Treasurer. Second. Any right, Dave, Mr. Murphy? Uh, 21st. 21st. With a rain date of May 21st. Okay. I the motion for that. Like, uh, motion made to grant the request of the Quincy Youth Baseball and Softball League for one day special use permit for Saturday, May 14th, 11 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. with a rain date of May 21st. And it is at Quarry Hills and it is represented by Mr. Dave Murphy, the treasurer. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. We will go. We have a chance. One day. Is anyone here from the Iron Furnace? Not yet, so we'll hold off on that. And is from the latest cafe? Yeah. yeah. Sam, come on up. For the people within the building, right? That yes. Have a, yes. A private oh, function. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And it's a one day. Yes. We do that every year. And this is one seventh year. You know, year. What's your address? One battery march park in Quincy. One battery march. One battery march. And this is for a one day wine and mall. I'm also going to give you a list here, and this is that when we issue one day wine and malt licenses, mm -hmm. it's supposed to be purchasing alcohol yes. from wholesalers. Those are a list of all the wholesalers in the yes, area. I, do. So you I can always wait. Okay, good. I have an account with the United States. Okay, State. good. Any, uh, anybody in the audience have any comments or questions about Sam Mushraf on one day, one day wine and malt? <coughs> no? Members of the board? Looking for a motion. I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of Mr. McCurry for a one-day malt wine and malt license, June 27th, from 4:30 to 8:30, One Battery March Park, at the NNPA building. Second. Motion made and seconded to grant the request for a one-day wine and malt license to Sam Mushkiri at Elena's Cafe, the NFPA building. 
on June 27th from 4.30 till 8.30. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You're all set. Thank you, guys.
the way I'm understanding it is that he's coming for us for a livery license. It's a standalone livery license. He still would have to register as a get a business certificate because you're operating a livery license from your residence. Granted, it's only one car, and that's all you'd be allowed to. You could never be able to operate two, three, four cars. It just it wouldn't happen. Um, it'd be no different if you drove a cab and your cab is parked at your house. So, so on. Yeah, that he, he doesn't have one in Quincy yet. This, he's blind. He has plates. This is from the registry. Oh, okay. All issued plates. When you, when you got your I'm plates issued from uh, the registry, where were you? Did you live in Quincy when you had the plates issued to you? Uh, yeah, I live in Quincy. But were you living in Quincy when the plate was, when the livery plate was issued to you? Mm -hmm. Or were you living in Dorchester? No, 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 no. I live in Quincy. How long have you lived in Quincy for? More than 10 years. More than 10 years. Will the Registry of Motor Vehicles issue you a livery plate yeah. without a license? How did you get the livery plate already? Oh, well, to get the livery, they first require the, the insurance, which I got the insurance. Then they sent me to register for a vehicle. I went to register for a vehicle, then they issued me the livery plate, just for only one car. Mr. Chuckwise, do you know how many Uber drivers are, are available in Quincy? I think there is a lot of them. Hundreds, I Hundreds. Mr. Chairman, I wonder if we ought to continue this. In fact, we might have those 100 people in here for the same purpose. Check with legal and see if there are any ramifications. Yeah. Yeah, I have no issue with it. We've never dealt with this, so we just want to make sure we do it right and we don't open up a, a okay. can of worms that we're seeing. Okay. Service 145 Willard Street for a livery license uh, represented with, by Mr. Uh, Chakwa until May 24th. Second. Motion made and seconded to continue the hearing on the request of Jagu Livery Service 145 Willard Street for a livery license represented by Chakwa Chakwa. So we'll call Cindy, make an appointment, and we'll sit down and we'll figure this whole thing out and we'll be back here on May 24th, okay? okay. Thank you very much. Next item on the agenda is agenda item number five, hearing regarding the request of Token Fire LLC DBA The Quill, 35 Washington Street, for a change of manager from Noel O'Connor to Garner R. Bloom and change of DBA to Belfry Hall. Represented by Mr. Garner R. Bloom. Mr. Chair. 
why don't you come up and introduce yourself and tell us what we're doing down there. So, uh, my name is Carter Bloom. Uh, I say this is my business partner, Devin Adams, who's the proprietor and uh, owner of the Townsend Restaurant, which is just uh, across the street here at 1250 Hancock. And, uh, we are in the process of opening a new bar and restaurant, uh, Belfry Hall, which is in the former home of the Home Ice Sports Bar at 35 Washington Street. Our uh, good friend, uh, Bill O'Connor, uh, was previously listed as the uh, agent and manager on the record for our liquor license, and we are seeking uh, approval from the board to transfer ownership to me as he has uh, sadly passed away just earlier this year. And uh, obviously, I'd like to continue our operations in this endeavor. Yeah, we very simply, uh, tragically, we lost all, and uh, we've had to restructure. Uh, gladly, uh, a friend and colleague of many years, uh, Garner, has stepped in. So we're happy to field any questions from the audience or from the board about uh, providing clarity. We're not open yet, right? No, no, sir. We are uh, months away from opening. This is uh, we're strictly in the process of getting actually a site plan review waiver from the uh, yeah. from the uh, planning board, and uh, we are expected to answer from them any day now. Uh, we'll be moving forward, obviously working with Chief Barron's department, the fire department, uh, like the uh, appropriate you know, resources and uh, people. We hope to be open uh, by the end of the summer or uh, early fall. Anything else is in order for I do, I do have a, uh, a notarized copy. That was the one that was not submitted. With our initial paperwork, I apologize. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Going down is the need for a record. Yes, sir. Uh, as I was say, it's, as I'm sure any restaurant owner will tell you, it's a team effort. Um, Devin and I personally bring over 20 years of experience uh, to the business, not only in uh, a management sense, but also in related fields of uh, business administration as well. And I will personally be there on site overseeing the kitchen operations as well as most of the day-to-day -day financial operations and logistics. So I'll have a, a significant hand in the business. Um, with regards to the alcohol, uh, as I say, Devin and his team at the Townsend have created an incredible program that will be drawing on their resources and knowledge experience from their first years and previous years of you know, of course operating elsewhere to put together a beverage program that I'll be one of the managers that's on site. Have you done alcohol service before? It's as I say that's actually how Devin and I met. We worked as part of the Barbovich Group of where I was the chef uh, working with some hair food at Drink, which is a one many accolades including both the best cocktail bar in America as well as the world's best bar where you can see the details of the cocktail. Uh, it's received lots of critical money and uh, Quite popular among residents in the Boston area. Comments, questions, anything else? Anything else is in order? Doing major renovation or some renovation? Major is a, I, I wouldn't say is necessarily the word that we would use. I mean, honestly, the, the bar as it sits right now, um, say there's is better served for, uh, or better suited for a different style of food service. Right now, um, the kitchen was set up to basically reheat frozen food or prepackaged uh, commercial grade food. We expect to create a uh, scratch kitchen. Everything will be made from scratch, from raw ingredients in house, which will not only allow us to create more jobs and bring um, culinary talent into the area, but also uh, allow us to you know, work more closely with local farms, uh, bringing better food to our residents and guests. Um, and to do so, we are going to actually decrease the size of the bar. We're going to expand the kitchen slightly, uh, but we, with rough estimates from our contractor right now, it's, we're expecting about ninety to ninety-five thousand dollars of renovation costs, and then a lot of decorating, you know, new fixtures, things of that nature. Thank you. Well, the other thing that we want you to make sure is uh, you still have to go up and get a business certificate from the city clerk's office. Okay. Uh, that's the same. Absolutely. Yeah, so we, we did uh, to get some accounts set up. Obviously, once we change the DBA, we're going to have to get it. Yeah. But yeah, we, 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 have. Yeah, As I say, I do believe, uh, As I say, Mr. Chairman, I do believe we have a proper certificate there. Yeah, but once you change the DBA, then you get it. Of course. That's all I was meant by yeah. not that you didn't have one already for the end. Yes, sir. 
Right, that's, 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 no, that's okay. We can that's the same. I was yeah. just saying. But, uh, uh, and the number of seats? Um, right now, we're expecting it'll be about 60. Uh, it was previously um, had a fire capacity of 88 guests. Um, we expect to reduce that again as we're reducing the size of the dining area and increasing the size of the kitchen. Okay. And um, although there won't be any changes to the footprint of fire or you know uh, gas powered equipment, so the hood system and fire suppression system should be sufficient. Oh, same. Correct. Yes. Comments, questions, anything else? Are you actually saying you're going to re reduce your occupancy? I think we're going to reduce the size of the dining area. Um, we we expect that with it's probably we're reducing the number of, of seats, but may uh, increase the number you know, the amount of standing room. I don't you know, as I say we, we certainly aren't seeking an increase in capacity. Is all I'm saying. I wouldn't think you want to decrease your. No, you just we just aren't seeking an increase. Is all. I'm saying. Chair, I'd like to make a request to grant the request of Token Fire LLC, DBA The Quill, 35 Washington Street, for change of manager from Noel O'Connor to Garner R. Bloom, and change of DBA to Belfry Hall, represented by Mr. Garner R. Bloom. Second. Motion made and seconded to grant the request of Token Fire LLC, DBA The Quill, 35 Washington Street, for change of manager from Noel O'Connor to Garner R. Bloom, and a change of the DBA to Belfry Hall. It's all represented by Mr. Garner R. Balloon. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You're all set. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Here we got a request of 39 Copeland Street. Four. DBA Sly Fox, 139 Copeland Street, Mary McKenna Manager for Pledge of License to Coastal Heritage Bank. This is a pledge of license of the Sly Fox to Coastal Heritage Bank. We have all of the necessary information is here. Enough change of license. Just, uh, I know Inspector Wong was by. He pointed okay. out a few things. You're going to take care of that. Okay. Any members of the audience, any comments, questions? None? Any, anything else from board members? Entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of 39 Copeland Street Corp. DBA the Slide Fox, 139 Copeland Street, Mary McKenna, manager for a pledge of license to Coastal Heritage Bank. Second. Second. Motion made and seconded to grant the request of 39 Copeland Street Corp. DBA, the Sly Fox, 139 Copeland Street, Mary McKenna Manager, for a pledge of license to Coastal Heritage Bank. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You're all set. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Agenda item number eight. Continued hearing of the request for a common vehicle license of Queen's ET Food Store 8 DBA, Coffee Pot, 247 Atlantic Street. Dinsh Kumar Patel, the manager, represented also by attorney John Ayeda. So this is a continued hearing regarding the CV license down on the uh, Quincy Tea Food Store, which is at the corner of was it, uh, Atlantic and East Washington East Street. Correct. And it used to be Richard's Market many, many years ago. Coffee Break Cafe has been there recently. They've left, and now you're going in to do uh, 
the cloth the shelf out of the location if we had issues with um, the sign ordinance and then I'm just going to turn it over to Mr. Duke to see how, where we stand on this, okay? Sure. Actually, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Patel has been very cooperative and he's been doing a good job and I know he's going to continue to work with the signs that are on the building, so he's come a long way and I uh, appreciate okay. it. Thank you. Anybody, members of the audience, have any comments or questions? None. Stand a motion. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to grant the request for common victual license of Quincy T Food Store, Inc., DBA Coffee Pot, 247 Atlantic Street, Denja Kumar Patel, Manager. Second. Motion made and seconded to grant the request for common victual license of Quincy T Food Store, Inc., DBA Coffee Pot, 247 Atlantic Street, Dinch, Dinesh Kumar Patel, the Manager. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You're all set. Thank you. Thank you. Request of the Iron Furnace to conduct a event on May 21st from 1 to 6 p.m. Uh, the event uh, 
involves a painting of the Ross Garage by uh, local arts. Second. Motion made and seconded. The grant request of the Iron Furnace, represented by John O'Sullivan, 1495 Hancock Street, for an extension of premise on May 21st from 1 to 6 p.m. to benefit, to benefit the uh, Ross Garage graffiti party that you're going to do with the Roman. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You're all set, okay? Thank you very much. And we're still waiting for attorney items. There's one other item that we do have, and this is going to be mailed out to the general public, or to the uh, is um, the holiday hours for Memorial Day on Sunday. Liquor stores can be open until 11.30 and then closed on Monday Memorial Day all day long. And with that, we are going to call the continued hearing to review the status of the motor tool and garage repair license issued to k and Auto, 1200 C Street, Mr. Brandon Bergstrom. And he's a no-show and he was notified that we'd be doing this today, right? So we will reach out to Mr. Bergstrom, and I know that we have some issues down there that we're going to address. Has he had to, did he submit a plan to the party down on 1200 C Street? I have not heard from Mr. Bergstrom. Okay. I'm going to ask the uh, board to continue this, and then we will be in touch with Mr. Bergstrom, and we're going to continue this. May 21st, and if we don't hear from him, May 21st, May, at the May 24th meeting, then we'll take appropriate action. We have a motion to continue. Chairman, motion to continue the status of the Motor 2 Garage and Repair License issued to K&I Ronald 1200 C Street uh, to May 21st. Second. Motion made and seconded to continue the hearing to review the status of the Motor 2 and Garage Repair License issued to K&I Ronald 1200 C Street to Brandon Bergstrom. All in favor? Aye. 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 So with that, I'm just going to take a five minute recess. Sure. And then we'll come back and we'll get Royal Sushi Hot Pot. So we'll be in, in adjournment for five minutes. Did yeah. speak with Attorney Yanez, so I'm, we'll, we'll go forward right now. This is pretty oh. basic. Uh, agenda item number seven here regarding the request of Imperial Palace Inc. DBA Royal Hot Pot Sushi Bar, Sin Yu Lao, manager for a karaoke license, represented by Attorney Bob Arnez. I'm sorry if I'm trying to just That's okay. I, I've spoken with Bob a couple of times on the phone about what you guys are looking to do down at the Hot Pot. So why don't you explain to us what you're looking to do there for the karaoke room? And then we'll just go from there. Um, we need to get the entertainment license to get your karaoke to be your room. So definitely enjoy your karaoke. And this is at the old, just so everyone knows, the old Outback Steakhouse mm -hmm. address. Mm -hmm. It is going to be completely built out. It's just a shell right now in the basement of the building. It's going to be completely built out. I know that Mr. Duke has already reviewed plans that it's going to be built out. And I'm pretty sure the fire department has uh, looked at it to make sure that uh, all egresses are in compliance, handicap accessibility is all in compliance, and it's going to be built out to the plan. So, is it individual rooms or is it one big room? Yeah, maybe. It, it's going to start out with, um, I don't go ahead, Jessica. I'm sorry. Um, maybe we have like nine. Smaller rooms that people can go into. Yeah. Might just like those the jazz room, that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we would have a bigger glass at the door to be like open light from the
had some issues. Can we just step one side, Jessica, so I can ask you a question? Yep. Um, and I know it has nothing to do with this, the Royal Hot Web. Jasmine, we're good there? We're good yes, we're very quiet. Okay. Do we have any problems? I know we had issues, and yeah, I remember being on the board way, way back yeah, when we good. first issued it. We've had none of the things that we thought might be happening there. So right. we're getting no good. So this is good. Okay, that's good. Is this going to be upstairs now or downstairs? Downstairs. Just downstairs. All right. And as always, you know, any member of the police department or any member of the licensing board, we've asked this anywhere in any of the buildings that we license, so we can go in any time and look around. So mm -hmm. with that, no other comments from the audience? Entertain a motion from the board. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of Imperial Palace Inc. DBA Royal Pot Pot Sushi Bar Sinyu Lao Manager for a carry license. Second. Motion made and seconded. Grant the request of Imperial Palace Inc. DBA Royal Hot Pot Sushi Bar. Send you allow the manager for a karaoke license. All in favor? Aye. You're all set. Okay, one last question. When do you think you'll be ready to open it up? How long? Um, I don't know, maybe half a year? Okay. Choose maybe. a big karaoke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you won't get rid of it. I recommend you invite you at my opening. Okay. <laughs> Show us. There you go. <laughs> the these things could be a closing day. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you so thank much. You thank, very you. Much. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. With that, uh, oh, oh. any other items? Any other comments? Do I have a motion to waive the meeting of last week's meeting? Motion made. Second. Motion made. Second. Waive the reading. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The 2000, May, what is it, 14th, May 10th, 2016 licensing board hearing is adjourned. Thank you very much. Oh, great.